What are you going to do first when the little thing disappeared, gone, dead? Um, it's a good question. I have to play jazz. I have to play, man. I, I, you know, I, I, I can play. I can play alone. I can play clock in, play with the, play along, you know. But uh, it's different. It's different to play with uh, with other musicians. So, so I'm, uh, I'm already imagined that, you know, when, when it's over, uh, when it's over, we might, we might call all the jazz club member. To play one night together. On the go to a jazz club, sit down. <laughs> I knew that. Enjoy some good live jazz. A nice bottle of whiskey. And, and my friends. Jazz club in Singapore. The problem is that we don't have jazz club in Singapore anymore. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to be a better person. I'm. Uh, I have learned uh, so many things. And I would like to put them into practice. And uh, I would like to, to help the world become a better place, by the way. I don't have much of a plan for the day after Corona crisis is over. I just want to return to my everyday life, go to job, do my work and go to a theater and watch a movie. In the longer term, uh, I think I should be more involved uh, in uh, the matters that concern uh, the whole society. After that, after, yeah. after, after, the, after the little thing is gone, death away. Yeah. I will play Durakat of Shukrana as a prey and I will proceed to travel to my native town to see my relatives which are alive along with me. When this is all over, I will travel to reconnect with my immediate family members. I want to see them face to face. I want to touch them. I mean, for me, it's a lesson I have learned. I have taken it for granted that we can be meeting, but we never visit families in them. We never go see them out there in the rural areas. We never connect and sit together and have a cup of tea. I want to like uh, meet uh, my family, other brothers and uh, brothers, sisters, and my friends. I think the first. I, I bring I bring my my wife, my daughter, my son to see my parents, and maybe after that I have to go to wash my car. <laughs> <laughs> First, I will get a haircut. <laughs> my hair is so long. I'm gonna get a haircut, and I'm gonna see my friend. I'm gonna, definitely, I'm gonna see my friend. I don't think that I'm going to do anything <laughs> different uh, than what I'm doing now because I'm a, happy, I'm a happy person and maybe I go to a club or to a festival to dance with my friends. I love traveling and you know just going to different places and discovering new things. That's a uh, really um, you know good thing to do. Short holiday at a beach with family uh, and uh, maybe some friends uh, because I think that uh, the little will disappear in maybe May and June at that time in Vietnam is summer and I have some this year plan to travel to Japan and uh, South Korea Actually, we wanted to go to Italy. Uh, yeah, and I almost booked the tickets, and then suddenly it's the COVID hit. <laughs> so, yeah. 
So I hope to go to Europe. Uh, get on a plane and go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess, you know, uh, the first thing I'm, uh, I will have to do is go back to school. <laughs> yeah, that's, that yeah, you miss your students. Mm -hmm. Martin, that was... I actually do miss, yeah. I mean, school is lots of work, lots of strain, you know, but uh, missing, yes, I'm missing my colleagues, I'm missing the kids, yeah. It's, I feel a little bit like a pensioner. <laughs> I want to explore. It's inside Nepal, not outside. I want to explore and I want to go to trekking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was actually saying that to somebody this morning. It's funny that you asked. So I said the first thing I'm going to do is wear my swimsuit and head to the beach. <laughs> first would be maybe a party, yeah. a little party with friends. Secondly, uh, the second thing that I really miss is going to a restaurant yeah. Yeah. or to a pub or a bar for a drink or two. Yeah, I think maybe hanging out with friends because it's been a while since we've all seen each other and all been together. So I would probably like plan something with friends, just all catch up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a bar too, it is, because Parsa's 18th birthday is a big birthday in Australia for uh, mm -hmm. kids. Yeah, the 18 one is the big one. I'm going to take a walk. Because I can't take walks anymore because, you know, the, the, the movement is very, um, there's so much restriction. And then I also want to see my friends. I, I can't see my friends. My birthday is coming up. I'm worried like, oh, my birthday is in June and I'm going to turn 50. I want to have a big party. That's not going to happen. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I would like to um, invite some friends to the house and to go see some friends because I think it's very strange not to invite anybody to the house. <laughs> so, yes, it, it's awkward. I mean, some people do it and then they just basically sit in front of the house in their driveway with the chairs apart, but it's not the same. I mean, you want to eat and drink and, and go inside and this and that. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, I think. And I, I hope, I mean, our school year is practically over. School ends on May 21st, but for the new school year at the end of August, I really want, want everybody back at school. That's very important, so. There is this uh, pastor that I always visit him every Sunday. And um, uh, the last time I visited him is about a month ago when the virus started getting, getting huge and everyone worried about it. So he didn't, he usually give out hugs to everyone, but he didn't give to a lot of people on that day. But he gave one to me, he said he can trust me. Um, and I, I kind of miss that. So uh, once this uh, thing over, I'll, I'll visit him, we'll have a coffee, and I'll give him a good hug because uh, so I miss him. I miss talking to him as well. Maybe I would, uh, I would go out and hug without any fear. I am just arrived at the stage where I, I am getting calm. I am that I'm and actually opening myself to enjoy these little things because, of course, first there is a panic, like everything is going to be different and everything is taken away from me and now I'm at the stage where I'm actually calm. So to be really honest, I have not thought about the moment when things are going to be all the same again. Uh, our family lives in Iran and they are very, uh, they, have, they, they are in a very different uh, situation right now. But I think about them a lot. Um, so uh, sometimes it makes you sad and it takes uh, a lot of energy to, to be positive. So uh, that's the only thing that I'm thinking right now. And the parties, the dancing, the clubs, the, the fun, it, uh, it will come uh, back uh, very easily after, after the coronavirus.
Uh, I'm not an island. What happens to me, it also happens to all of them. What happens to them, it also has a, a result on me. So, so we have to, to think uh, not only as an individuals or only as a father, mother and children, but also as a society because, because all, of, all of us are one. We are just one. This situation, it didn't affect them like personally. It's just something that happened outside of their lives. It didn't affect, affect them personally. So um, they didn't need to rethink anything. Like for my family, we had a COVID scare because my sister's boyfriend had, has Corona and then she had a very bad sore throat. And then suddenly we were like, oh no, actually Corona can actually affect our lives. It's always easier to blame someone else to take responsibility and work on your own habits and behaviors. Um, with this is a pandemic, this virus don't make a difference between races, between countries, between humans. It's just like, it's affecting everyone. So, and I really don't get the point. So my point of view is we need to work all together. The whole masters, they want to bring us to this transhumanism. You know, and, and that's exactly what it is. And it, uh, for me, it's so obvious in the music field uh, because if you're a musician, if you're not playing the rhythm, like with your heart and with your hands and fingers and feet and whatever, uh, then that's where it lives. If you're lazy and leave it to the computer, then you will have the same effect, which is like, you know, this hypnotic effect is always there but you can control it if you play you know, yourself. If you leave it to the computer, then the computer is hypnotizing you. And maybe a lot of people learn that we do not have control over everything. We like to think, especially in the Western world, we like to think oh, we know everything, we can do anything, but maybe we're not, you know, maybe now we have a virus and we do not know exactly what this does and how this works. So maybe we're not as much in control as we think we are. It is not a war uh, from of a, a country against another country, two sides. It is not a football match of one country against other country. This is a, a, a match that it's a, a, the whole humanity are in the same side. No one is safe from a pandemic. So when you're faced with that question of mortality, that it could be you tomorrow, you could be the one to go, or the people who are close to you could be the one to go, is when you're really looking at your maker and think, okay, maybe I've done something wrong. I should rethink. I think everyone is generally faced with that kind of situation in this global pandemic. We're gonna be disconnected and uh, well, instead of working together we're gonna work for our own cause and each country gonna do protect their own people not uh, it's gonna be a lot of uh, separation after this. That's my my fear. People are gonna get selfish and more and more and, they, they want to centralize everything, you know, only one hub where everybody is supposed to like transhumanistically uh, connect and uh, uh, this uh, is not for human beings, you know, and we should, we should all work on diversity and on decentralization and doing things differently as much as possible, otherwise it's, it's going to be a nightmare. Take care of nature. I think coronavirus happens. Uh, we are people are very crude about nature. Exploit everything from nature. I think if take care of nature, nature take care of you, and then you take care of another person. After this pandemic crisis is over, many things in our world, among the international order will change significantly, probably so. Uh, however, uh, it is unlikely 
that all changes will be good changes or even peaceful changes. Uh, I'm quite happy there's no going back to normal because that was that was to be anyway not normal what we were living. Mm. So uh, there's going to be a change that's for sure. What's going to happen? I don't know, but we also make it. It's the way we go at things that makes the world. So uh, for some people, it's going to be a nightmare. For some others, it's going to be okay. And some will be better. <laughs> so you can't, you, you, there's no point in staying on one idea, uh, except who are you? What are you doing? You know, that's the basic. Then going outside, uh, what is it supposed to uh, attain? Is it supposed to change things? And for me, it's like this, I, I can't see why I should change. Uh, uh, because it's always, it's still the same, doing music intelligently, uh, as intelligent as I can be, uh, and because uh, intelligent music makes people int more intelligent. I think that our generation, or generation below my uh, uh, um, uh, age, that they need a discipline that they didn't have with internet, with mobile, with uh, being lazy, uh, don't want to do anything, or just being uh, just uh, uh, used to have a life that, it, uh, that they always had. Uh, so I have to be careful with, with what I say, but maybe the coronavirus is also good for some things in the world, for the mindsets, for, for people who always thought that everything was so obvious and natural uh, to have. Enjoy every moment of your life. <laughs> uh, give me a big hug. I'm going to send you the hug to the people around the world, okay? Away, so just want to, 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 to play this, okay? Yes, please, please. All right, all right, all right. <laughs>
My story is your stories that I've already told you about the invisible virus. But there are many visible disorders such as wars, racial and sexual discrimination. Will you please open your eyes, ears and minds? I'm sure you do. And I will tell you my new stories. Thank <laughs> you.